So if you've been on YouTube and you've looked for this content and watched other videos, you probably realize that nobody was really, nobody knows what they're talking about. Like I, I didn't see a single video where they went in depth about the subject on how to integrate a Shopify product on Webflow and how to style the button and how to have a seamless experience with a clean code, you know, how to, how to just connect Webflow and Shopify. Nobody was really explaining it. So yeah, it's going to be the topic for this video. So let's just get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your Webflow page. Uh, so this is the page we made uh, for a client of ours. It's in French, so maybe you're not going to understand the copywriting, but it doesn't matter. So this is the part where we do the Shopify integration. And uh, this is the button. All right. So if we, if we want to look at this, at the final result, so this is the button, right? This is the embedded code. And if you want to add embedded code, you can just go on your div, div block, control E, click on embed. And it's going to be an empty custom code box, just like this. But I don't need it since I already have one. So I'm just going to delete this one. And I'm going to show you how I did this integration. So let's see an example. Uh, I want to take this option. So you have two options here. I want to take this option. I'm going to purchase. And then you see you're redirecting on the Shopify. And you have your product here. You, have, you already have the pricing. You have the name of the product. And you can directly pay. So this is, this is what you want. This is exactly what we need. And uh, yeah, so you have the front end on Webflow and the back end on Shopify. So the first thing you want to do is download here apps. You want to download by button. Uh, so this is a shop. This is a Shopify app that was made by Shopify themselves. And uh, yeah, as soon as you install it, you're going to have the possibility to open it. What you want to do is create a buy button. You can create for, for a collection or for a product buy button. We're going to take this one because we just want a product. Then you select the product you want. So obviously, you have to create it first on Shopify. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to create a product on Shopify. So it's CMS. You just have to type, you know, the name of your product, how much it costs, description, blah, blah, blah. But you only need the button. So you don't really, the description doesn't matter. The picture doesn't matter. We don't care. Uh, you can do everything on Webflow. You just need the buy button. You just need the code. You're going to understand what I mean by this in a few minutes. So let the, let's take this product, for example, here, serial space. All right. So as you can see, you can select directly the variant that you need. Uh, if you just need this one or this one, uh, it's good. If you need all variants, you're going to have this option as well on Webflow. So you have to be very careful about what you want exactly. I'm just going to take one cookie cream, for example, you have your button here by button. You can choose your layout style as well. If you want it to be, if you just want to have the button, if you also want to have the picture, then you have full view as well. Yeah. So this is all stuff that you do on Shopify first, but what I like to do is just to take the basic, just the button and I do everything else on Webflow. The rest, I just do it on Webflow. Then, um, this is the action. When people click on the button, you can either add product to cart direct to checkout, open product details. I'm going to just go to checkout directly and, um, yeah, you can style your button, but as you can see, you don't really have many options, right? So for example, my buttons here, you can see this is, this is, this is the styling for my buttons and you see there's a box shadow and there's, you know, there's a special font and you can't really do this on Shopify. So how do you do that? So how, how do I style my button the same way that it is on Webflow? You probably have this question and on the other YouTube videos, they do not address this. Like I, I really think on the whole YouTube, I'm the only one that that's addressing this problem. Well, yeah, you can style your, your button in Shopify. So you just keep it this way. Like you don't care about, you know, this stuff. You just need, you just need the code for the button. You just need the integration. So you see here, copy code. This is what you need. You just need to copy the code. So then you do next and then you can come here. No need to customize it. You just copy the code. You go back to Webflow, flow um, and I'm just going to copy paste it here. So I'm going to delete all of this and we're going to try this button. Boom, save and close. Yeah. So now I'm going to save and close. I'm going to publish. You're going to see the difference. Uh, so this is what the button used to look like, right? And now let's see how it looks. Boom, you go down. So you see it here by now, uh, the same way that you have it on Webflow, uh, I mean on Shopify. So how do you style this button? Now you want it the same way as Webflow and you cannot style it in Webflow with no code because uh, this is an embedded code. So no matter what you do here, 
Uh, you can change the font. You can change, I don't know, the, the size of the font, the color of the font. Nothing's going to change. Uh, it's not going to work. The only way to style your button is inside the code here. So how do you do this without actually coding? Unless you like to code, you can code it. This is how I did it. I just went on the uh, code editor and I just did it myself. Or you can go to ChatGPT and do it. So let me show you how you do this. Let's say you want to style your button the same way it is on your website, on the rest of the website, right? So this is your button here. Uh, and the CSS class is button one. And you want it to style, you want to style your button here the same way uh, with code. So what you do, uh, you go here and you put a special character in the rems. So I put 2.12 just, just to be able to recognize it uh, because not every CSS class I have in my Webflow project have a RAM of 2.12, right? So I just want to be just, you can put anything really. You can put like 2.19 and here 2.19. Nobody cares. It's just to, to be able to recognize it when you go here on the custom code. So when you go to custom code, uh, you go to the CSS because this is your styling. This is where you style your buttons, your div blocks, your images, your whatever. You do control F. So control F, uh, this is the command you do to look for text in your web page usually. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click 2.19, look for it. There you go. You have button one. So like I said, it's just to recognize your code and to be able to look for it. So what you're going to do is just copy, uh, paste this. And then you're going to head to chat GPT. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask ChatGPT to do this. Can you convert this CSS code into JSON code? Now I'm going to explain. What does this mean? JSON is the language that Shopify used to um, style their button. In Webflow, you styled it in CSS. And in Shopify, you styled it in JSON. So you want it in JSON. So you copy the CSS code and you ask ChatGPT to convert it into JSON code. So let's press enter, copy the code, the JSON code, and then you head back to your uh, Webflow project and you can go here. Let me actually, let me hide the second button because this is for another purpose. I have two buttons because I have two variants, but let me just, let me just hide it actually. Yeah, I just have this button now. Uh, I can go here, you can go to your code. So now what you're going to do is look for your button styling. So the first button that you see in your code is the right one. All right. So we're going to go slowly. There you go. This is the first one. And this is, this is, this is this code for, for this button. This is where you're going to modify. Uh, you're going to delete everything in here. Copy paste the code. There you go. You can do this. Click on tab to align it. It's good practices. Uh, you can save and close. Um, I think there's one thing you have to do. Yeah. On Google fonts here, you want to put, if you have a Google font anyway, uh, I have a Google font. It's going to eat. I'm going to put it here, save and close, and I'm going to publish. And now let's see how the button looks like. I'm going to refresh. There you go. This is what the button looks like after we uh, copy pasted the code. And um, obviously this is not exactly what we wanted to look like. I've had this issue before and um, yeah, you can fix it. What you're going to, what you're going to have to do is the following. So if you have the same issue and you cannot see what's under your button here, you know, like the box shadow, what you can do is add this piece of code here. Add a comma. So let's try it out first, just to, to be sure that it's working. I'm going to publish. There you go. So now you can see the full button. And uh, what allows you to do this is this piece of code here, um, margin 20 pixels auto important. So this piece of code here important, basically, it just tells the computer that this is a priority piece of code. Uh, so you're just going to add a 20 pixel margin around your button. Uh, it's going to allow you to have more space to, you know, showcase your styling and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just realized that by copy pasting the Shopify code, there's a lot of restrictions and I was trying to style my button. It didn't work. So try to add this piece of code 
always you know this margin 20 pixels auto important is going to fix all your issues so yeah uh, now you have your button and then obviously you can make it bigger by playing with the paddings um and uh yeah for example here instead of 0 0.5 you can put 2.5 and then instead of 2.19 you can put 3.19 or 3.5 there you go all right so we published we're gonna refresh and as you can see it's bigger obviously it's not <laughs> it's not really good looking but um yeah now it works and um then you can change uh the text for your button so for example here we have by now you can i have styled the button the way i wanted to with chat gpt uh you know playing with the right padding left padding top padding you know if you if you used webflow a little bit in your life you would you would already understand html css just by playing with the no code editor so when you actually code it's the same thing you're just, you're just coding right you're just changing the padding with pixels and rams directly in the code instead of the webflow designer so yeah it's basically the same thing so as you can see you can just purchase the product and uh, yeah you can make the purchase and this is how you do the integration once and for all uh, this is the right way to do it don't if you also need this integration for your website you can head to the description down below and uh, book a call with me on convert.ca if you really need this integration and you don't have the time to do it or the resources or whatever you know you don't like coding uh, so yeah thanks a lot have a good day